What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. It is the offseason that just keeps on giving. Deshaun Watson was for sure going to the Atlanta Falcons and New Orleans Saints, but no. It's a real quick turnaround. He's going to the Cleveland Browns. So obviously today we're going to be doing a Deshaun Watson Cleveland Browns rebuild today. Before we get into this video, guys, if you are new here, go ahead and drop a like and of course subscribe as well if you are new. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. And we've been grinding here every freaking day, uploading some rebuilds. And trust me, we are going to be continue grinding because I have so many rebuilds planned. There's just been so many things that have been happening that have just pushed them uh, to the side where I haven't got to them. But trust me, we plan on doing all these crazy offseason moves that we have seen. It's been a lot of fun and it's going to be a lot of fun here. So go ahead and subscribe if you are new here. But the Cleveland Browns went ahead and got Deshaun Watson. Uh, obviously leads Baker Mayfield out of here. So we got to trade him today as well. Uh, but there's a couple things we need to do, of course. I just simulated the season before. There's a couple guys that were free agents that probably just signed with random teams. So uh, Dave Njoku, as we know, got franchise tag this offseason. So I'm going to go ahead and franchise tag him. That way uh, he will be under the franchise tag. And uh, that way that money counts against us. So franchise tag for David Njoku. I do want Anthony Walker back at 27 years old to be my middle linebacker for now. And then uh, if we can get him back, that'd be great. Get him back. Lake McDowell. Um, I actually didn't realize the video that serviced of him yesterday or not yesterday or whatever that whenever that was where he was apparently he was naked and just like full on truck to cop or so I don't know dude whatever but uh, he started development Madden so I'll go ahead and resign him I guess I don't really know the full story maybe it's worse than I think and I shouldn't be resigning him but whatever but let's go to stage one uh, so we got to look at the team obviously Deshaun freaking Watson Amari Cooper new connection here in Cleveland so uh, obviously that leads Baker Mayfield out of here so we don't really know where he will be you know where he will end up uh but that I'm glad the Browns were able to get Watson because obviously that Baker Mayfield thing became very awkward very fast because he felt disrespected uh which I understand but at the same time it is a business so you do have to understand that you're replaceable at any time and then we got McDowell would need a nose tackle need an outside linebacker um uh, but all right so let's go ahead and see what we can get here uh for Baker Mayfield we also have to trade the picks to uh, the Texans because we don't have our first round pick at all in this video and there's uh, some other picks that need to go in the trade so I'll take care of that real quick and then we can trade Baker Mayfield as well so now that we've taken care of all the picks we needed to trade away or at least the important ones obviously got to trade our other first round pick when it pops up but Baker Mayfield as we know has to be in the trade as well and Madden's doing its glitchy thing I don't know when why you have to like completely back out of I just don't understand Madden can I throw yeah I still can so I have to completely back out of the trade screen because it's not letting me add it's not letting me add anybody in the trades it's really stupid but whatever so let's get right back to it and like I said we are going to trade Baker Mayfield I think the Indianapolis Colts makes a lot of sense Seattle Seahawks I know they are very interested in a quarterback but their roster is not as great as the Indianapolis Colts in my opinion in any way so I just want to get a couple draft picks maybe from the Colts I don't know whether it would be a second can I get like a second and a third for Baker Mayfield or is that maybe a fourth second and a fourth I think could be fair maybe for Baker maybe a third and a fourth let's see if the Colts would accept this and they do so you get a second and a fourth round pick for baker mayfield he becomes the colts quarterback and that situation is now taken care of so um we need to go ahead and take care of some free agent things though so looking at the lineup right now we do to, we do need a wide receiver number two outside of amari cooper because donovan people jones is good and all uh, but i would like to have another wide receiver um with these two players and then watson of course is fine a joku i like a tight end nick chubb could use another center they did cut jc treader which i found a little surprising and then uh, a nose tackle and outside linebacker because our secondary looks really good. So I'm actually, you know, I honestly thought Watson should go to Cleveland because their roster was like better than anyone else's. Now the Saints have a solid roster. Falcons do, did not, not that great. And then, so I'm glad he did choose the Browns because that obviously just makes the AFC still very competitive and still freaking entertaining as hell. And of course, like I said, the Browns have a uh, really good roster. So JC Trier is the best center available, but they did cut him. So I think it'd be weird if I signed him and then uh, obviously Jason Kelsey got cut by the or not got cut he got re-signed by the Eagles so I guess I'll go for the 27 year old who has star development here that way I'm not going for JC Treader again so let's go for Ethan uh Mr. Ethan Pochich 112 total points and we'll be able to get him hopefully those tackles that are available we got Akeem Hicks Derek Nottie uh so I'm looking at Derek Nottie he is a scheme fit so we'll bring him in probably then I want to look at the wide receivers so after the Watson trade we also had Juju go to the uh Chiefs so Chiefs uh stack up as well that AFC West division Julio Jones 82 overall which is kind of crazy to think about Will Fuller could be an option Jacoby Myers Cole Beasley Deontay Harris so none of these guys are that great 
and they're not bad obviously julio stands out as a guy you could bring in uh 82 overall superstar development obviously didn't have the great year in tennessee that you'd expect he would cost 12 mil though and i'd probably have to offer more so i actually might stay away from julio i might look at will fuller instead um he actually will be kind of expensive as well but uh, i guess he could be a solid wide receiver number two uh when will fuller is at his best he is pretty freaking good so i'll pay him around 11 million if that's not better than the cowboys offer then i might stay away from it that's so not so i probably won't offer much more for him i guess we could just draft a wide receiver and i guess outside linebacker was the other thing we kind of needed to look at so we have houston on the board then we also have Darius smith who, who isn't signed currently so um do we want to Darius smith or or can't remember what scheme we're running so does that make sense or should we go for more of a coverage guy so we actually did get wolf fuller and we also got Derek donnie we got poached so we basically got everybody we kind of saw uh saw out so will fuller decided to come to the better roster here so that's great i'm not gonna go for zadari smith because uh, i think we need more of a coverage linebacker than we need a pass rusher so uh that will be solved in uh the draft so we have chase winovich uh, who came over from the Patriots trade. I forgot about him as well. Blake McDowell, Derek Naughty, Miles Garrett, and then JOK. So, and then Anthony Walker. And then, like I said, number one need on this defensive side of the ball is going to be the left outside linebacker. Of course, I would not mind adding another wide receiver. You really can never have enough. So, we're going to be headed straight to the draft. We obviously don't have a first round pick, but we did pick up a second from the Baker Mayfield. Or, but yeah, second from the Baker Mayfield trade with the uh, extra fourth. So, there should be some guys we could get in the second round that will fall and you know spill over into the second round no first round picks in this video but it's fine like i said we got a second for baker mayfield and uh while i'm recording this baker mayfield has not been traded yet so if he's been traded to a different team i apologize but start the nfl draft let's go ahead and jump right into this so i mean pretty much going to be taking just what's best available so washington has a number one overall pick in this simulation now pick number 12 let's see what we can grab so at pick number 12 i'm looking for outside linebacker the most you have Darren Kennard, you have a corner, which I don't really necessarily need. I actually like the corners that we have. You have Deron Kendrick, which is what we kind of spent all of our scouting points on. The Kobe Dean, uh, I guess, is solid. Sanders, Brenton Cox. I don't know, man. I don't really see a uh, linebacker that I really want here. So maybe we have to trade one of our picks to get a linebacker that we're kind of looking for. Because they really invested our scouting into corners, which I find interesting. But Adam Anderson, you got... Brent Cox, Mike Jones, Mario Overshone. Ah, uh, I like N'Kobe Dean, but we don't really need an outside linebacker. But at the same time, he's got A man coverage, A awareness. Maybe we can move him to the outside or move Anthony Walker to the outside and kind of hope it works out. So we're going to draft N'Kobe Dean. He's going to be hidden development, bring him into Cleveland, just another linebacker. Like I said, we can move him around, see if that would work out for us. And then at pick number 21, since we did just kind of address the linebacker problem, we'll go and see what we can get at pick number 21. So we have Charles Cross. Uh, we have Deion Kendrick, which, like I said, they scouted him like crazy. Sanders could be another pass rusher we could throw on the line. So that actually is something I'm kind of interested in. A finesse moves. He's got good. I know this man has hidden development, so we're going to take him as well. So those two second round picks are going to go to good use, which I love. And then obviously with no third round pick, because that was also part of the Sean Watson trade. We do have an early fourth round pick that we might be able to draft a wide receiver here, which is what I think I'm going to invest in. So wide receiver, hopefully have somebody who has fallen here. That could be really good. I've been told that this is a deep wide receiver class. So hopefully you can find something. So looking at wide receivers that we have available. We have Joseph Nagata, uh, Jalen Tolbert, uh, and then we have Smith. And uh, okay, so Texas A&M, either one of these guys could be solid. F catch in traffic, immediately turned off by that. C spin move. And then uh, I, I remember that they took Jalen Tolbert in uh, the last video and he ended up being hidden development. So I'm going to take him here as well as another young wide receiver and bring into Cleveland just as another option. And I think that's going to be it for me. So we come out of the draft with uh, three hidden development players, which is just fantastic. And of course, we're going to be going this next season with Deshaun Watson at the helm and Amari Cooper. It's going to be exciting as hell. So the offense is looking like this, of course. Will Fuller, Amari Cooper, Peoples-Jones, Tolbert is kind of burying the uh, depth chart, but it's okay. And then Nick Chubb, offensive line looks good. You got David Njoku. We're going to have to resign next season. You got uh, JOK, Josh Johnson, Anthony Walker, and Kobe Dean behind him. Uh, Taki Taki, who I guess will start an outside linebacker this year. Hopefully, there's an outside linebacker in free agency next year. Grant Delpit. And then we also have Greg Newsome, Chase Winovich, McDowell, Naughty, Miles Garrett. Of course, got Sanders in the draft, Greedy Williams, and Denzel Ward. So, honestly, I do have to say that uh, the fact that the Browns did not trade a single player in that Texans trade is an absolute freaking W. But we're going to go ahead and simulate to the playoffs with Deshaun Watson at quarterback now. And we're going to see if this team can make the playoffs. 
and uh, see how far we can go. So at the end of the season, while we did go over 500, it did not lead to the playoffs. We went nine and eight and did not make the wild card round, which is pretty disappointing. So we, ha we do know we have a tough division though. So we have to keep that in mind, but not making the playoffs very first season does suck for sure. We go take a look at the stats and maybe see if something went wrong as Marcus Mariota was a beast, but offense was sixth in the NFL and the defense was 19th in the NFL. So defense, I guess, I uh, could improve it a little bit. Watson, 22 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Nick Chubb, 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns. Kareem Hunt had a couple touchdowns as well. Mark Cooper, people Jones, Will Fuller did their thing. The defense, I mean, uh, I think a linebacker or something we should be looking at, obviously. But uh, for the most part, it does suck that we did not get into the playoffs this very first season. But hey, we have some uh, you know room to improve. There will be chances to improve this team. So I'm not too upset with about it yet. We have chances, and uh, we have another offseason to improve and try to see if we can make it uh, better so 20 million dollars in cap space also want to go ahead and load the draft class real quick so uh you know i don't really usually like using madden's um the fall draft classes unless if i just uh don't have a draft class for it so uh, obviously 2024 is a draft class i don't have so if we get that far i won't even worry about that draft class but let's go to the resigning stage so i know i'm going to need david njoku back and then there might be some players we have to look into cutting maybe we'll see maybe we cut miles garrett no, i'm just kidding we're not doing that but Let's go see what $20 million we have. Denzel Ward probably can't resign Kareem Hunt. Denzel Ward, David Njoku, Jack Conklin. We have Chase Winovich. So I'm looking at Greedy Williams, this guy I want back. Winovich, I could probably let walk because we just drafted Sanders. Conklin, I want back. Njoku. So Kareem Hunt's probably not going to be available to come back. But Denzel Ward, our best corner, uh, which this is going to take all of our money. But I mean, wait, maybe we should franchise tag Denzel Ward. So we do do... Do need David Njoku back, so I'm going to try to bring him back. And uh, I'm going to have to go look if I can cut anybody that was going to free up any money whatsoever because I don't think I'm going to be able to resign all these guys without going over the cap, obviously. So we we'll resign Jack Conklin. Hopefully he's back. I do want Greedy Williams back, like I said. If I can bring him in, that'd be great. But yeah, the money is getting tight. So let me see if there's the ability to cut anybody here. So let's go to team salaries and see if there's anyone making a ridiculous amount of money that shouldn't be here anymore. I doubt that happens, but we'll see. Watson obviously making a fat uh, fat dollar savings with 31 million dollars, uh, but I can't do that. Johnson would save us 15 million, but I do like him at free safety. Denzel Ward, obviously we just are trying to resign. Nick Chubb, that's not going to be something we're going to do. Kareem Hunt's a free agent. Uh, Teller's right guard, so there really isn't much to cut away. You have Antonio Ganey Golden who could free up about 20 or free about a million dollars up. So we're going to have to do bargain here. So Ganey Golden, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to release you. And then there was another guy making like a million dollars. Actually, he's a free agent, so that's not going to free us any money either. So uh, Walker would free about $1 million. But yeah, so money is tight here. It is what it is. So um, draft is going to have to be our best friend, even though we don't have a first round pick. So I think I have to spend the rest of this money on uh, Denzel Ward. I, I, I don't think I don't think I'm going to bring back Greedy Williams. I don't think that's going to be possible. So Denzel Ward, um, I'm going to have to franchise tag you. It's going to give us like literally no money. So He's going to feel disrespected by this offer, obviously. Uh, free agency would be better for him. But unfortunately, Denzel Ward, I have to franchise tag you because I can't afford to lose you. So that puts us over the cap by like a margin, a high margin. Yeah, $60 million. So not good. Not good. But um, let's go take a look at what our lineup looks like now. So we did lose a couple of guys, but thankfully we did grab Sanders in the draft. That was actually really smart that we drafted him because to be honest with you, if we didn't, it would have been pretty bad. But Offensive line still intact. So offense all looks intact other than obviously losing Kareem Hunt. Uh, but we weren't going to be able to resign him. And then defensively, uh, a linebacker is still our biggest problem. Uh, we have Walker, Nicobe Dean. Uh, again, we can maybe trade Walker for an outside linebacker and put Nicobe Dean at starting. I don't know. Sanders is going to have to go to the other side, I think. I think that makes the most sense. So Miles Garrett and Sanders. So the defensive line looks just fine. Sanders will step in and be great. But outside linebacker is basically the biggest need still. So... I think the only way we could solve that is the draft. I don't think we're gonna be able to trade anyone because we have no money. So I think we'll just have to go to the draft and hope for the best. We have round two, pick number 18. This is obviously gotta be used on a outside linebacker, no matter what. We gotta get somebody out that position. So let's go see what we can get. So round two, pick number 18. We have Shane Lee on the board, another middle linebacker. We have Chris Bogle, speed rusher, Peyton Wilger, um, wide receiver, Miles Murphy. There's so many. So many options, MJ Sherman, Georgia, and Trenton Simpson. So we'll see what these guys, who would fit the best. A block shedding, 
Uh, so he looks great block shedding wise, but coverage, B man coverage, that actually looks really good. You take MJ Sherman and hope he's good. We might come back to that guy. Man coverage looks great. So uh, Chris Bogle want to take a look at as well. C tackle, C pursue, C block shedding. He's got B injury. Don't know his zone coverage and don't know his man coverage. A finesse moves. Okay. That's still an option as well. And then Peyton Wilger don't need a middle linebacker. And then uh, I guess the other middle line or outside linebacker could look at is Tristan Trent Sampson. A tackle, A pursuit, B block shedding. Looks like an absolute stud. A tackle. Don't know his coverage though whatsoever. So he looks really good though. Do I just take my chances with him? Trent Simpson, hidden development outside linebacker. Hopefully his coverage isn't bad. I don't really know what to expect there, but let's go to pick number three, round number 18, or round three, number 18, I should say. That probably sounds a lot better. So this will be my other pick in this draft. And uh, I don't really know what we should be using this on. Maybe we could just draft another linebacker to make sure that position, or we do need another corner. So they did scout Dorian Strong quite a bit. Um, his coverage doesn't look all that great. Maybe he's hidden development. Yes, he is. So I'm glad with that. So we'll walk out of the draft with Dorian Strong to replace the loss of Greedy Williams, I believe. So um, we're going to go ahead and advance to the end of this and uh, we'll see uh, how this team's going to look like going into the next season. So going into the season, the offense obviously looks really the same other than losing Kareem Hunt, like I mentioned earlier. The defense, we got Simpson, who is a 76 overall, and we got a corner who's a 71 overall. And then we also got a strong safety. It looks, or no, never mind. That's the same person. What am I talking about? Okay. And then Simpson, I didn't really see what his coverage was. So pass coverage is 73. So not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Run stopper 76 overall. So I think he's a nice fit. So we'll bring him in. Obviously be happy about that. Sanders gets a step into the defensive line now with Chase Winovich gone. Uh, Nicobe Dean, I do eventually want to get him in here, but I'm hoping this team is good enough to make the playoffs this season. Obviously, very disappointing nine and eight last year. So I'm hoping that can improve to like 10 and seven, 11 and six this year and make the playoffs. So at the end of the season, we did win our division at 11 and six, tied with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we do get to play in round one, who I assume have Mitchell Trubisky. So uh, this will be interesting. I think did Trubisky and Watson come out of the same draft class for my bug, and I feel like they did. Maybe Trubisky came out of the Mahomes draft class. Maybe. I don't remember. But looking at the stats and awards, uh, let's go take a look how Watson did. So offense was 50 in the NFL. So this year looked a lot better, which is good. And then defense was uh, 40 in the NFL. So yeah, top five on both sides of the ball. I saw uh, Chubb at 2,000 yards, which is awesome. 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions from Watson. Uh, Nick Chubb, 2,000 yards. So with no Kareem Hunt in town, looks like he went off 17 touchdowns receiving wise. Cooper, 1,100 yards, 900 from Will Fuller. Donovan People jones with 900. David Njoku with 600. Then Tolber got in here a little bit, 130 yards. And then defensively, sacks-wise, did we have like Sanders go off? We had 9.5 from Sanders, 16 from Garrett. So 6 from Malik McDowell, 6 from Naughty, and then 1.5, 1.5, which is awesome. Interceptions, we had 3 from Grant Delpit, 3 from JOK, and 2 from Greg Newsom. So we are playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. I imagine they have Mitchell Trubisky starting at quarterback, so... Watson, can you please go out there and show your worth? And uh, let's, let's let's beat this team. So we have Sam Williams. We are an 89 overall to their 84. Let's go take care of business. If you've watched my videos lately, my success in the playoffs has been very, very dry. It has not been good lately. It, it just hasn't. We've sucked, I feel like, every time we've been in the playoffs. Like, the quarterback just shits the bed, and we don't do anything. I don't know what happens, but uh, it, it's, it hasn't been good lately. So I'm hoping today my luck has changed. Watson, I need you to come out here and put up some touchdowns because lately, quarterbacks I have just be putting up field goals and hoping that's good enough. So here we go. Let's see if we can beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Six minutes on the clock and not a good start. Let's see. We did get a stop, though, and not any points yet. Still no points, and we allow the Steelers to uh, get some points. And they're up 14-0 to to start things off. And we still don't have any points to show for anything. And this is what I'm talking about. Lately, it has just been very bad. 21-7. to uh, we did get a stop, so maybe just 21 to 10. Okay, go put up 17. We still have a chance, still have a chance. Yep, okay, get a stop, get a stop. That's a stop. And 24 to 18. I could actually technically take the lead here. Um, if I my math is correct, six, yeah. I mean, I could, t I could take the lead. Okay, I guess I have to come in here and do it myself. You know what I mean? Because this lately, just lately, Madden's just not been vibing with me, I guess. So I'm just going to come out here. Like, what is that? Like, you can't catch that, Njoku? I just paid your ass and you can't catch that. All right. Noted. I, I know how this is going to go now. So, uh, I'm going to give you another chance, I think. Actually, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to throw it to Will Fuller. And that ended up working out. So, W there. Or to yard line. All right. I'm going to go slip screen. Nick Chubb, I'm going to need you to uh, break this off for like a big gain or something. Actually, 
maybe Amari Cooper in the slant if that now he goes over okay um yeah this isn't there this just isn't there I'm surprised that isn't intentional grouting two minutes and 15 seconds left I'm actually upset that I have to come in and freaking win this game I don't know who's starting at quarterback right now for uh the Steelers but I imagine it's Mitchell Trubisky we should not be losing to this team but here I am so I'm gonna throw it to Amari Cooper and that was almost a interception a little out of reach there okay so far not good not good but Cooper yeah they're not throwing they're not playing man they're definitely zoning up so I respect I would have loved you know for them to go ahead and give me like a really nice gain over the top but they're just not willing to do that so two minute warning is coming up and like I said luck lately has been terrible and I have a feeling going in this next offseason this team is going to get bad really fast because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of free agents and not enough money to resign anyone so I feel like my window is now so that's kind of why I am desperate to win this game so as long as we don't do anything stupid turn the ball over anything like that uh we'll be fine so here we go this might be stupid but ah uh, it's out of bounds it's out of bounds out of bounds last play Njoku there you are let's go that's a big game big game let's go baby let's go out of bounds honestly we probably even need to get out of bounds minute 49 left as long as the defense gets a stop on the other side we should be solid so uh obviously that's uh depending on the defense though so we can't really rely on them can we so Njoku and Nick Chubb I think I have Nick Chubb there let's go let's go don't drop it don't drop it let's go baby minute 43 left on the clock uh I think I should probably just start running the football right I mean, we got freaking Nick Chubb in the backfield so yeah I think that is the case give me that let's go baby come on get in there you know what that's actually fine we could drain more time on the clock minute 21 um actually probably shouldn't know huddled this whatever Nick Chubb get in there get in there give me that let's go let's freaking go that's all that's all needed done defense I need you to get that stop though so um if you could do that that'd be great 24 25 already a big oh it's Carson Wentz playing for the Steelers okay interesting 24 to 25 they're already in field goal range this isn't good um they could easily just win the game now so that's probably what's gonna happen isn't it yeah they take the lead 30, okay I'm gonna have to get crazy here can I do this is the question oh okay you want to put Amari Cooper in press coverage I'm so down for that safety please come up uh they're gonna I can't take a sack I cannot take a sack Ooh, ooh, ooh! this never you never should throw across the field but hey that kind of worked out so let's go let's do it 25 seconds left in the clock I can become clutch here all I need is a field goal but at the same time it is that st the Steelers would probably ice me so I kind of want a touchdown instead but whatever so let's see if I can uh can I get Amari Cooper out of bounds no oh yes he's there actually come on Cooper get out of bounds let's go get out of bounds let's go let's go baby 17 yard line we don't need we're not we're not taking a field goal I want the touchdown because I don't trust myself with a field goal uh they're gonna ice me and I hate when they ice I hate it I can't I can never do it for some reason it always like tells me I miss which I don't know how I don't know how I miss I can't take a sack though cannot take a sack that is the last thing I can do so I'm just gonna run out of bounds 10 yard line 11 seconds left in the clock all right I know I should I know I should maybe just take the field goal but I'm just so nervous that I don't want to so uh I got to throw to the end zone though can't take a sack the, David Ajoku kind of needs you to get open here and he's there he's there let's go that's a touchdown that's what I needed that's what it needed let's freaking go no field goal here I'm taking the touchdown I'm going on to the next round get out of here you thought you were one in Pittsburgh with Carson Wentz not happening I hopefully do not have to jump in the next round and do this though because that took forever let's go though on to the next round we're coming into Jacksonville to play Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars so last time we played the Jags they killed us so hopefully this time that isn't the case come on Watson I need you to come out here and be that man you are that guy get a moment Watson yes good start but Jags respond go get all right that's fine I'm gonna stop there we go W all right I love it get a stop get a stop get a stop or 10 I'll take it Go put up some more points, Watson. Uh, 14, 13. I need you to put up points, Watson. I need you to put up some freaking points, bro. Ah, uh, please, Watson. I'm begging you to do something, man. All right, I'll take it. Get a stop. Get a. St I hate this game, man. Like I late lately, it has not been good for me. I don't even know why I'm jumping in. This game is over. So. On the next on the next season I guess so we have about 50 million dollars in cap space uh not really sure who's all a free agent I'm sure it's going to be a lot of players I need to resign so I got Denzel Ward Cooper Josh Johnson I mean look at the, I guess it's not that bad it could be way worse all right let's try to get all these guys back I don't really know what they'll come in Denzel Ward uh we can go ahead and bargain this he's probably gonna be like I don't want this but you know what Ward you're gonna have to come back he's back okay so Mark Cooper I want to keep as well as a wide receiver option obviously for my man 
Watson. So let's bring him back. And he says, I would like to play for a new team. Okay, I'll go, you know, kick rocks, I guess. Uh, Josh Johnson, free safety. Would like to keep him around as well. Not too expensive. So we'll bring him in, hopefully. And he's back. Okay. Dredrick Willis, another left tackle I'd like to keep around. So we'll bring him in. And hopefully he signs. And he is back. And then I have to probably choose between Grant Delpit and Peoples Jones. And uh, I'm going to take Grant Delpit because we do have Jalen Tolbert. So uh, Grant Delpit, if you could go ahead and resign this contract, that'd be great. And I think the only other thing we can do is, uh, well, yeah, it was Mari Cooper is the only one that declined my offer. So it's really going to have to be franchise tag Amari Cooper time. So Amari Cooper, don't franchise a tag a 30 year old, but I mean, I can't really afford to lose. I'm losing uh, Donovan Peoples Jones. So I mean, the team is going to stay relatively the same. There's really not much to change because we don't have cash space again, but we kept everybody, which is the important part. So we're going to be running it back one more time. And uh, we're going to hope this uh, this year goes well for us. Um, offense is still the same. Obviously, we just lost um, Donovan Peoples-Jones, which is fine, I guess. Defensively, everything looks good over here. So uh, we're going to simulate to next season after all that. And uh, we're going to hope and pray we get to the playoffs because that is the most important step. And then... We have to hope we have some playoff success, which hasn't been treating me well lately. So at the end of the season, we actually went 13 and four and got the bye, which is a absolute fat W. Okay, so we don't have to worry about playing in the first round, which is just great. So want to look at how the offense and defense looked. And obviously after that, we get to play whoever in divisional round. So offense was fourth in the NFL. And then defense, let's see, was uh, seventh in the NFL. Okay, uh, Watson 32 and six. Chubb 1900 yards again, 19 touchdowns. Will Fuller, 900, 900, 600. And defensively, sacks-wise, we had 21.5 Miles Garrett, 7 and 2. Okay, we'll take it. Interceptions, 4 from Grand Delpit, 4 from JOK. All right, man, let's go. We get to play whoever we want to play in our divisional round, which is absolute W, but that doesn't mean anything. Lately, the playoffs have not been... I'm almost... I almost wonder, instead of jumping in, if I should just click simulate next week. Maybe that'll work out better in my favor, because when I've jumped in, it has not been good to me. And it just hasn't. Do I jump in or do I click next week? I am torn. I am torn here. And I'm going to jump in. I'm going to jump in. I, I think that's the best way of doing things. Next week just scares the hell out of me. So we're going to jump in. This time, I will not jump into this game whatsoever. I got plenty of gameplay earlier. This time, I'm going to let Watson do his thing. And he is going to take care of business. I believe in him. All right, Watson. I went out on a limb for you, bro. You better come out here and win this freaking game. It is 7-3. to three. Okay. Get a turnover. 7-10. to 10, W. I need my playoff success to turn around. 14 to 10. We go up 17 to 14. W. We do not get the stop we need. And now we're up 21 24. So Watson's putting up them points, which is what I wanted. And what the f did you just turn the ball over like two times in a row? This game hates me, bro. Lately, my success in the playoffs has been we're about to allow the Steelers to put 60 on us. Watson literally turned the ball over twice in like two two possessions in a row, didn't he? Three interceptions. Get the... I, Carson Wentz comes out here and outplays you? What is the problem lately? I just have no success in the playoffs lately, man. Maybe I should just stop jumping in. Maybe I should. It, it hasn't worked out at all. But regardless, guys, I'm going to end off on that. Thank you guys for watching. What is the formula to winning in this game? I know all you tell me to change the playbook, but man, I feel like I don't want to do that. I just want to roll with the play the playbook we got. But maybe that's the formula. Maybe you have to change the playbook. You just have to. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables 2. Then, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.